736. Taking a quick look at the weather. My goodness. It looks like weather. <laughs> it looks wet. <laughs> Western part of Baxter County, west central part of Baxter County, getting some pretty good showers right now. Pretty good line in the southwest part of Marion County moving. It looks like it's moving directly east, folks. So get the umbrellas and uh, run with the lights and wipers, of course, if you need to. Yep. Be careful. Jim Barris is here from Baxter County Right to Life. Welcome, Jim. Thank you. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. Tell us a little bit about Baxter County Right to Life and how we can help support uh, pro-life. Baxter County Right to Life is uh, we're doing a kind of a rebuilding process now. We've got about 35 members, and we've got some churches signing up. And what we're doing in the next couple of weeks, or the next week, is uh, we're going to have a Mother's Day ad, and this year we've added a Father's Day ad. So uh, if you're interested in putting your name on the ad, it's $10 for one ad, 15 for both of them. And uh, what, what we're doing is uh, trying to get as many people involved we want to honor our mothers and fathers because they're the ones that gave us life. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, I told one of the members, put me down for the 15 because, you know, we'll cover them both. Ted, you know, I got to get them. I got to get a check to you all sometime today. When's the cutoff? The cutoff is, uh, well, it's going to be this weekend, but we'll take them up to the 30th. Good. And uh, Can I see one of your brochures right there sure. while you discuss? Thanks. And what, what you have to do is uh, put your name and in a envelope and send a check to 342 teal point road and we'll get you uh get your name on the ad and dale's going to write that down so when you call the station in Three. 10 minutes saying what address did that guy say <laughs> we'll have it 342 teal point road oh, of course that's, that's mountain home mountain homes what is it 72653 yep yep okay we'll do that Appreciate what Baxter County Rights of Life is doing and for the stand for pro-life. Now, do y'all work with Jerry Cox's family council a lot with the pro-life? Yes, issues? well, I do. Uh, the pro-life group works with all, most of them, and Jerry Cox is very active in the pro-life movement also. Mm -hmm. But he he covers a bigger variety of, of things. Uh, he covers, like, family issues, things like that, where we, we st stick strictly to pro-life. Now, I don't know how to ask this question, but how did we even get into the abortion? Uh, I can't even say business because that's what it is. Yeah, it's a yeah, big it business. It's a big business. It's uh, if you know anything about Planned Parenthood, it's uh, their biggest business is abortions. Yeah, they uh, claim their uh, will help pregnant women. 94% of the pregnant women are have an abortion. It's uh, in the history of the founders of Planned Parenthood. I was in Washington, what was it, two, three years ago? And the facts pertaining to Planned Parenthood are just shocking, you know, just unbelievable. But well, it is. Uh, it's big business. It, it is. That's what it is. Well, perhaps what uh, a lot of people don't know is about 100 and fifty million dollars goes to Planned Parenthood from the federal government. That's, why? That, that's not the that's my money. Yeah, yeah that's your money. right. And that's the way we got to look at that. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, <clears throat> well, here I have it. If forty-five percent of their revenue is from government health services grants. They receive government health services grants. Grants. That's free money. Yeah. That's right. Huh? They receive five hundred and forty million in taxpayer funder funding, which is nearly one and a half million dollars a day. Yeah. Uh. And their executives, uh, the average salary is one hundred and fifty eight thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars a cha year cha for their executives, which there's quite a few of them because they have offices all over. Oh, sure. So uh, we do have brochures for churches or anyone who wants them about different things. Uh, you know, we're right now we're trying to get the Senate, the United States Senate, to bring up a bill that the House of Representatives passed last year that after 20 weeks, babies 
can feel pain. And similar to what Arkansas did after 12 weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to get the Senate to bring it up, but they're just flailing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that well over there, that side of the aisle. So, Jim, you said I want to talk a little bit about the membership and how we might increase not only membership, but some uh, monies and some funding for Bax County Right to Life. How can we generate some more interest? How can we get to the heartstrings of people that say, hey, you know, I'm pro-life, but I'm not doing anything about it. What, what can we do to help? Well, next year, uh, we can't do it anymore this year, but next year we plan on even having a, a young people's group, like high school and college students. The biggest problem is getting someone to head groups like that up. We don't have regular monthly meetings anymore because we weren't getting any much interest. Get the same four or five people yeah. there all the time. We get like five, six people, and that would be it. So what we're doing is we have committees for various things like uh, the Mother's Day and Father's Day ad. We had a committee doing that. We have a committee doing uh, uh, the fair booth. We're having a committee doing the life chain. So these committees can meet when they want and talk on the phone and get things done instead of uh, coming to a monthly meeting, reporting what they're doing, and they aren't doing it much. Mm -hmm. So this would be a good opportunity for a pastor, priest, minister, whatever in the church is to say, hey, you know, we need to step up to this and and support yeah. Bax County right to life. We've got some churches that are really have gotten very interested in, in what we're doing. Uh, we have a lot. Of course, Mountain Home Christian Church has always been involved. Oh, yeah. in, pastor McCoy. Uh, in the right to life. We have uh, St. Thomas Anglican Church. We have St. Peter's Catholic Church. We have uh, Twin Lakes Baptist, Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And Whiteville Baptist, mm -hmm. which is a very small church, yeah. have joined us in, in our Glad fight. taking so, the stand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what we, we have to do is we have to stand firm for life, whether it's babies or old people like I am. <laughs> well, you know... Look what the ASPCA has done. I mean, if if I were to injure a dog, a, a, a pregnant... Dude, you're going to jail. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you, do you know that, that there's a law that if you kill an eagle, there's a $125,000 fine for that? Plus, you get time in jail. If you... Uh, eagle's egg. There's a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine if you destroy an eagle's egg, and yet, if you kill a baby, there's no there's no no penalty, because in our politically correct society, we don't consider that a baby. They call it a mass of cells. Yeah, but it's really a baby if you. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they if can you, argue their side all they want. We know what it really is. So. If you come to our fair booth, you'll see how a baby develops, and at six yeah. weeks, it's yeah, already that. yeah yeah it's already developed. You know, it, it always, oh well, they're expecting their first child. It's not ever oh they're they they're right now they're just a mass of cells. Yeah, it that ba that baby can kick and and it actually hears its mother's voice when yes. the mother talks. And so uh, this whole idea of abortion, I don't know where, how we got to the point we're at, but uh, it's pretty bad. Well, I'll go on my soapbox. I remember years ago, a pastor saying, you know, during the Woodstock era days, if this is the, if this is the leadership of the future, we're in big trouble. Guess we're, what? We're there. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, folks? We need to take a break. Sean Handy and other things. We'll be right back. 7.50. We've got showers moving into Baxter County right now. I'm seeing showers in Boone. I'm seeing showers bouncing off my hood. So <laughs> I think it's best, here, Dale. That's the I think it's here. That's a, that's a, I'm, I am a trained investigator. I spent many years learning this craft. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. It's not coming. It's I don't need here. a radar for that, do I? <laughs> nope. I see it now. I see rain on bombs. <laughs> it's Bouncing off the hood. <laughs> Tomorrow is the uh, Baxter County Sheriff's Drug Take Back event. It's going to be held tomorrow from 10 o'clock until 2 o'clock. 
It's going to be at the Baxter County Library, so it'll be a little easier to get in and out of there for people. Uh, it's on uh, South College Street over there by the bypass. If you're not familiar, you can't miss it. Uh, there's no questions. There's no nothing. You pull up and say, here, take this. It'll go in the box. They'll collect everything. Um, do not flush your drugs down the toilet. And it's not just, uh, you know, like when I say drugs, it's not just like pharmaceutical painkillers and stuff. Antibiotics, anything like mm -hmm. that. Because one, it's bad for your septic. And two, it's a much better way to get rid of it that way. So go by the library tomorrow and drop off your stuff. Then the spaghetti dinner at the Buford Firehouse Community Building Sunday, the 26th. All you can eat. Donation adults, seven fifty. Children, 6 to 12 or three fifty. Five and under eat free. Food Fund Fellowship and support the volunteer firefighters. Um, Anything you can do to support the volunteer fire department. Yeah. Any all of them are great. The county. They're all over yeah. the county. They're all doing Baxter, different things. Yep. Go and help them out. Uh, and tomorrow at Arvis, out uh, on the east side out there, they're doing a uh, collection, and they've got a big shred-a-thon. Mm -hmm. I think they want uh, food. I don't know if they want food or money for the food basket. Whatever they want. It gives you a good chance. To, those you can old, always give you money just did you, buy. That's right. Yeah. It's, it'll go to some sort of good charity here. <laughs> there's no doubt about that. But there's, you know, you got your old income taxes from seven years ago. You just filed the new ones. Get rid of that stuff. Just, you know, there's no reason to keep it around. And by them shredding it like that, it cuts down on the identity theft possibilities. Yep. Good thing to do. And training at Barron Creek is tomorrow. Uh, training at Barron Creek is offering NRA personal protection in the home. Taught by NRA certified instructors, instructors Elka Summers King and Mike Sisk, one twenty per person, one hundred twenty dollars per person. NRA personal protection in the home teaches the basic knowledge, skills, and attitude essential to handle safe. Let me back up. Teaches the basic knowledge, skills, and attitude essential to the safe and efficient use of a handgun for protection of self and family. Provides information on the law-abiding individuals' rights to self self-defense. Log on to training at Barron, Barron Creek. I'm going to go home and run to talk. That'd be a good idea. Uh -huh. Training at Barron Creek dot com or call 870-404-5251. I don't know if that's a concealed carry class. You may want to no, call they, Dan Hall and no. get your uh, now, concealed carry yeah, Dan license. Dan teaches that, and so Elka Summers King is also certified by the NRA. This is a an NRA certified uh, class. They've uh, they've gone through about seventy hours of training through the NRA. But just so that people don't think that I, it's tra any yeah. training is good. But, yeah, but especially well, the handguns. But they do have, and I've got it down here somewhere. Coming up in May, there are some other uh, concealed carry classes that okay. Elka will teach. Quick handle basketball, heat ball handling camp. I haven't had a chance to look at this yet. Uh, June eighth through tenth. The instructor, tu, 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 tu. well, yeah, it's good because it's good. You got till June to get that one squared away so you can read it. <laughs> <laughs> Contact information, Debbie Woods, 421-1288. Yeah, look, turn it and over, this Dale. Is, this is, uh, there you go. Yeah. See? Quick handle basketball. Uh, Del, Del, um, Leonard was here yesterday. He says, that's a good camp. So we'll get more about that later. I just have to pick that up and say, hey, look at this. What else we got? Baxter County Right to Life, how can we help? We can help by, you can give me a call at 492-870-492-6902, and we'll get your name on that ad if you uh, want to. We can also, any members, it's uh, $15 a year for a membership, for a family membership, $10 for an individual membership. And as I say, we don't have monthly meetings, we have committees that that you can help out on. If you can't help, we'd still love to have you as a member. We do have a website. It's www.baxterrighttolife.org. And uh, we keep that up pretty much up to date. We have the Greater Fitchburg for Life uh, website, you can, a link to it. And there's a lot of pro-life news on it. Great. And for the name in the paper concerning the Thanks for Life Mom, Thanks for Life Dad, Mail a fifteen dollar check to three forty two Teal Point Road, Mountain Home, Arkansas seven two six five three. And on a little note card, uh, name goes in the paper of this fashion. Right. Spell it correctly. Print it legibly. You, stuff you like can that. Put your mother's name, your father's name, or your own name on it. And uh, we thanks, hope mom. Thanks, Dad. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank them for life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>